It's so hot today. I'm sweating after taking a few steps. The typhoon is coming, so the weather is suffocating. Hey, let's take a rest. Why is the air quality so poor ahead of a typhoon? Summer always comes with good air quality. But when a typhoon approaches, the weather will become sunny and hot. Even the air pollution level will surge as well. These are caused by the downdraft around the tropical cyclone and the change of wind direction. What is a downdraft? I'll let an expert explain. A tropical cyclone, we normally call it typhoon, is made up of a rapidly rotating air mass circulating around the center of the typhoon. The strong convection inside the typhoon causes air to rise. When the rising air reaches the top of the troposphere, it will spread sideways and go downward, forming a downdraft that slows down the wind speed and causes air pollutants to build up in the areas underneath. Meanwhile, the intense sunshine accelerates the formation of photochemical smog and ozone, worsening the air pollution in the affected areas. So, air pollution will get worse whenever there's a typhoon? Not necessarily. As the circulation moves counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, the influence of a tropical cyclone on the air pollution level in Hong Kong may vary depending on its track. If the tropical cycle approaches Hong Kong from the west, the circulation above the ocean will bring strong southerly winds and clean marine time air mass. But if it comes from the east, the wind speed will be slowed down as the circulation passes over the land, resulting in night northerly winds and continental air mass with more pollutants. Any examples? Tropical cyclones Passing Taiwan usually increase the air pollutant concentrations in Hong Kong. Take Typhoon Nepata that hit Hong Kong in 2016 as an example. It had a maximum wind speed of 175 miles per hour on the 6th of July. Since it was quite far away from the city, the southerly winds and air from the ocean kept the pollutant concentrations at very low level with good visibility. When Nipata moved towards Taiwan on the 8th and 9th of July, the winds in Hong Kong turned westerly or northwesterly and carried air mass from inland. The downdraft undermined the wind speed and hindered the dispersion of pollutants. With the intense sunshine, the ozone and fine particulate concentrations in the Pearl River Delta region surged rapidly, bringing the air pollution level to an extremely high level. In the afternoon of July the 9th, the AQHIs of all air quality monitoring stations reached the serious level. After Nipata landed in Fujian, the prevailing winds in Hong Kong turned back to southerly, carrying clean maritime air mass and the air quality in Hong Kong returned to normal levels afterward. Do you understand the relationship between tropical cyclone and air quality now? Oh yes! We should never go hiking the Wicked Hills again ahead of a typhoon.